My character's name is Margot, and she fits into the narrative almost as the eyes and ears of the audience. Everybody in this restaurant is very privileged and elite, and Margot is the unexpected guest, so you kind of get to experience the film with her. Good evening. Oh, I absolutely adore Rafe. Um, he is such a committed actor, but also we feel very comfortable together, and it's a really beautiful connection that you can have with another actor where you feel like no matter where you go, they'll catch you and they'll go there with you. Um, yeah, I just, I have a lot of love and I feel a lot of comfort in our relationship, actually. So I play Tyler in the menu, who is a real foodie. He is uh, someone who's been waiting to go to Chef Slowick's restaurant for a long time. Chef Slowick's played by Ray Fiennes, and he takes uh, Anya Taylor-Joy's character as his date. Are you crying? <laughs> it's just I find it all very moving. So it's okay, but I'm not as into this as you are. She's a brilliant actress, and we basically had like a, a seven or eight week dinner where we sat there and and did scenes, but then also improvised and just tried things out. I wanted to do it because it was so original. Um, every time I turned a page, I thought I knew where it was going, and it ended up somewhere wildly different, and I wanted to be in the room for those particular scenes, and I'm really glad that I was. The script was just very original and funny, but also twisted and dark, and it had a good commentary on where we're at in the world at the moment. When I read the script for the menu, the first thing I thought was, what a fantastic cinematic ride. Um, cranks up, cranks up, and then away it goes, and he's just off right through to the end of the story. And then this very specific target to hit tonally, which was um, a lovely challenge, getting the balance of the, that black comedy and the, uh, and the thriller elements, and those two elements are kind of symbiotic, and the more you crank up the tension, the more you can release it with, with, with that comedy. And then getting that satirical thread in there as well, trying to find that and get everybody, the cast, everybody on the same page, so we're all making the same movie. That was a challenge because it's such a specific tone, but a really lovely one. And you know, I'm proud of that. I think we hit it. The cast was amazing. It felt like a little theatre troupe. You know, we were all in that restaurant for seven, eight weeks, just all supporting each other and having fun and trying things and improvising. And Mark, the director, was incredible at just creating like a really, like, lovely environment for us all to, to work in. You shouldn't be here tonight. Casting was obviously crucial, and um, Rafe was in both mine and the writers' heads from the start. From you take Schindler's List through to Grand Budapest Hotel, and he can do everything. And, and from the very first conversation with Rafe, it was obvious that it was a great match. Um, we both saw the, this character not as a, a movie baddie, not as an evil person, but as an artist in pain, trying to lost in self-loathing for all the bad choices he's made, where his ego has got ahead of him, and something we can all relate to, I certainly can on a certain level. Um, so having put that base in a very poignant base for the character, what Rafe can also do is, of course, take that and make it really funny at the same time without diluting either, either ingredient, which was brilliant. With Anya, I needed somebody who could stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with Ray Fiennes. I'd like to sum up the menu in three words, and they would be uh, delicious. It's going to be very difficult to not do this without food puns. Uh, delicious, skewering, and um, spicy. <laughs>